Are you prepared? The world is about to end and we don't know it. The worst part is that the government is not going to tell you. No one is. Nuclear explosions. Earthquakes. Tsunamis. Hurricanes. Even tornadoes. They all cause a lot of harm. And they are all going to combine to form the unbeatable package which will end all of humanity. Can it really hurt us? Will it hurt us? If it can hurt them, it can hurt all of us. So what happens next? Well, there's a solution and it is to move. Where? To another planet. What about Mars? Or it could be Jupiter? Or maybe Mercury? Or even Venus? Which one? This is where we resort to science, math and history. All of the planets except for Earth were named after Roman gods and goddesses. Now, let's take a blast through space. This is planet Earth, our home, which will soon be destroyed. Mercury. Mercury was named after the Roman winged messenger. The distance of Mercury from Earth is 0 0.1 of a year. The distance back to Earth, if we return, is the same amount of time, which gives us a total travel time of 0 0.2 of a year. And the synodic period is 1.6 years, so the total length of the trip should be 1.8 years. Venus. Venus was named after the Roman goddess of love. The distance of Venus from Earth is 0.26 of a year. The distance back to Earth, if we return, is the same amount of time, which gives us a total travel time of 0.52 of a year. And the synodic period is 1.58 years, so the total length of the trip should be 2.1 years. Jupiter. Jupiter was named after the chief Roman god. The distance to travel from Earth to Jupiter is 1.19 of a year. The distance back to Earth, if we return, is the same amount of time, which gives us a total travel time of 3.18 years. And the synodic period is 1.09 years, so the total length of the trip should be 4.89 years. Mars. Mars was named after the Roman god of war. The distance it would take to go from Earth to Mars is 0.63 of a year. The distance back to Earth, if we return, is the same amount of time, which gives us a total travel time of 1.26 years. And the synodic period is 2.14 years, so the total length of the trip should be 3.4 years. Now, here are the calculations on a spreadsheet. So, which planet do you think gives us our best chance for survival? Which one do you think we can most conveniently travel to? We know where we've chosen to go. Do you?